food restaurant barely passed its health inspection. There were half a dozen critical violations checked off by the inspector. The grade is a 70 at Captain Jack's Fish and Chicken on East Magnolia in Knoxville. That 70 is a passing score, a grade of 69 and below is considered failing. There's been a follow-up and that grade in just a moment. The inspector writes, in the walk-in freezer, there were uncovered boxes of food on the floor, but they belonged up on shelves. That's why the shelves are there. Also, the inspector noted excessive buildup or dirt in the ceiling of the freezer. When he checked the blade of a can opener, which is supposed to be clean, it was dirty with food debris on it. There's more. In the kitchen, the inspector found lots of flies buzzing around, but bugs aren't supposed to be in restaurant kitchens because of the bacteria they carry. Fruit flies were found inside an open spice bag and surrounding a banana. Also, the temperature of chicken wings being held in the warming unit, they weren't hot enough. The temperature reading was 94 degrees, but 135 and above is the safe hot temperature to kill bacteria. The inspector returned to Captain Jack's Fish and Chicken for a follow-up inspection. All of the critical violations were corrected, and the new grade there is an 89. No second inspections will be needed at the top scoring eateries, and here are the best grades of the week. In Knoxville, the Grand Buffet Supreme on Clinton Highway, 100. The Lindsay Mill Grill in Rocky Top scores a 99. The Half Barrel Cafe on Cumberland Avenue in Knoxville receives a 98. Same grade, 98 for Big Kahuna Wings, the one on Kingston Pike in Farragut. Wendy's, the one at 2401 Chapman Highway in South Knoxville, it too has a 98. In Caraval, Smoke and Holler Barbecue and Burgers on Main Street, 98. In Morristown, the A1 Hibachi Grill on East Morris Boulevard, 97. Finally, the Giggling Pig on Broad Street in New Tazewell, it scored a 96. Restaurant health inspections are held every six months, and they're unannounced. Politely let the manager know if you notice a problem or call the health department in the county where you live. Don Dare covering Food for Thought. All right, if you would like to look over all this week's health inspection scores for yourself, we've made it as easy as we can for you to do that. They're all under the News tab on our website, wate.com. Or if you have your phone and you're quick, you could go up and scan that QR code right there you see on the screen, and that will take you straight to the page.